Sisters, this is one of the decisive moments in this election. When the members of 1199 stand up and speak, things change in this city. Oh, yes! yes, yes. We've seen it time and time again. And I want to say to George Gresham, your leadership has been part of not only strengthening this union, but strengthening this city. It is because of your leadership and so many of the men and women standing behind you that we're finally starting to change and reform and reduce the use of stop and frisk in this city. It is because of your leadership and the men and women behind you and the 200,000 men and women you represent that we finally made progress after three long years on paid sick days for people That's who need right. it. Whenever New York City has needed social progress or economic fairness, 1199 has stood up. You have been the difference maker. And for me, you are family. We have been together over 20 years. And time and time again, I have seen the energy, the passion, the power you bring to every fight. Now, <coughs> on the topic of family, I just want to express to you a particular view I have. My view is that the lady to my left would make an incredible first lady of the city of New York, Charlene Monet. And we see this city through the prism of family, through the prism of neighborhood. That hasn't been the case on this side of City Hall in a long time, as George said. It's our job to change it. And we're going to change it by doing what we know how to do best. Going out to the neighborhoods, talking to the people, telling them that this status quo doesn't need to continue in this city because we can't live with it. It's not acceptable as right. You know, every day, Mayor Bloomberg is trying to convince us that we're on the right track. But talk to people in outer borough neighborhoods. Talk to people struggling to get by. Talk to people who can't find a pre-K seat for their child. Do you think those people think everything's okay in New York City? No! Do you think they think it's time for a change? Yes! Now, I know change will happen this year. I know it will happen this year because the people are ready for change. But they need to be reminded of the power of their vote. Yes. No matter what happens time and time again, even with some of the greatest victories like 2008 and 2012 with President Obama, that this union led the way on, by the way. Yes. And can I just say thank you for that? Yes. Can I say thank you? But even after those victories, people get the message over and over again that their vote doesn't matter. People get the message, just stay home, nothing will change. This union, for decades, has put the lie to that, has said that every citizen matters, every worker matters, every activist matters, that we are able to change our society and we are resolute that we will make the change. That's right. So brothers and sisters, I finish with this. New York City needs some fairness right now. New York City needs some opportunity again. Change. The people of our neighborhoods need to be able to stay in their own neighborhoods and not be forced oh, out. That's right. That's right. That's right. Parents need respect again. Change. All that can happen if we put our head down, if we reach our people, if we convince them this is the time for change and the only vehicle for change is their vote. That's right. Their sacred vote. That's right. And I want to tell you, on this day, I am convinced I can see what victory looks like because I'm standing next to the people who have been synonymous with change and victory in this city time and time again. I'm standing with the union that has been the difference maker so many times before. And this is the union that will be the difference maker again. We will 
make New York City a place for everyone again, a place of fairness again, right. a place of justice again. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Yeah. So we would like for you to hear from some more of our members so that you are clear and understand that this is not just the Office of the Union. And we have many of the officers here with us today, but that in fact, this is what the members understand that they need to improve their lives. So I'm going to ask Anna Couch, who is a Queens home care worker for